What's up everybody, this is Blaze coming to you with a new video and I just wanted to talk about the Nintendo 2DS, what I think about it. It's coming out October 12th, basically all the Nintendo 2DS is, is basically a 3DS but it has less graphics capability, it doesn't have the capabilities for 3D. I don't know, I guess it'd be good, you know, if you want a starter console, like you're not really into gaming consoles yet like gaming handheld so you just want like a little sample of it for like um yeah like the nintendo 2ds to kind of get you and then if you're more interested you could get more handhelds I'm, I'm guessing that's what they're um aiming for also that yeah, this is really targeted for little kids and stuff like that like uh like if a parent doesn't have much money and they want to buy a cheap present because it's only a hundred and thirty dollars I mean, but still, I mean, I wouldn't get my kid a 2DS to be honest. I wouldn't. I wouldn't because I would probably, you know, just go on Amazon or eBay and get one for like, and get a Nintendo 3DS which has high graphics capability, functions better, and has a better design because all the, uh, you know, all the 2DS is basically a, a 3DS, but it's like this long slate. It looks like a mean little tombstone. It looks stupid to me. It just looks like a box with two screens on. It just looks so silly. I think they could have worked on that design way better. But anyway, back to what I was saying, if you go on Amazon or you go on eBay or Craigslist, you could find a Nintendo 3DS for like, let's see, like a hundred. I was looking at it, it's like 120, 130. $119 and stuff like that used and it's probably in really good condition too. So I wouldn't I wouldn't get my kid. I just go out and get my kid a damn 3DS. I mean I know you can say that at GameStop the 3DS costs a lot more than 2DS, but hell, something costs less somewhere else. Why get it from GameStop? One of these places that overcharges everything. I mean, 2DS, I, I, I don't think this console is going to be successful because let's face it, all it is is something to back the Wii U up because the Nintendo Wii U just had a price drop and it's not doing like, well I think it's so good but right now it's not doing very good because of the video games that it's selling, I mean because they're not selling really good video games, like the exclusives is a thing that really keeps Nintendo Wii U because they don't get many third party games but they're exclusive always the best out of Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo always has the best and most legendary exclusives out there. And lately they haven't, I mean, they haven't released any, any like, PS4 and Xbox One are going to be the same way because they're not going to have any good exclusive for the first six months to a year. So that's every console. Every console is stuck at like this foothold when it first comes out because the developers got to get used, you know, to this new word I'm looking for. You know, this this new console, this new engine, everything's new. And they have to get used to programming it, enhancing the graphics and all of that. It takes time. So, so now, now so they can make a little extra buck while the Wii U isn't doing good. They're going to uh, take this new console, like 2DS, make make it cheap and hope a lot of kids' parents buy for their kids for their birthdays or their Christmases. And I just don't see it working out good. Cause I mean, maybe these people who don't use Amazon or Craigslist, but if it were me, I'd just go and get get the kid like a uh, Nintendo 3DS that's actually cheaper than the 2DS in the store. Well, you know, that's just my thought, thoughts on this. Give this video a like, comment, subscribe. If, if, you, if you like my video, check out some of my other videos. And, and also look in the description. You can like and follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Peace.